Hey, welcome back to Bahasa Little Project. Selamat datang kembali di Bahasa Little Project. And in this lesson, we will let you know four very very good movies that you can watch to have fun and also to improve your Bahasa Indonesia at the same time. Because these movies are Indonesian movies created by Indonesian. The most of the actors are Indonesian, and obviously, most of the time they are speaking Bahasa Indonesia. So you would be able to improve at least your listening skills. And if you are practicing what you are hearing, you can also practice your speaking skills from watching the movies. I myself learn English and Hongsei by watching movies, immersing myself to the entertainment. Um, using uh, the, the 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 language that I'm still learning, uh, or uh, the language that I am learning, right? So this is also something that you can try. So for example, if you just super bored, right, with whatever I'm talking about on this channel, or if you are joining our complete Bahasa course level one to ten, and you are bored, you're tired of learning. Bahasa that way, then this is something that you can do. You can listen to music, for example, or you can watch movies. Okay, and today we will be discussing four very good movies that you can watch while still improving your Bahasa Indonesia. Number one, we have The Raid. I think most of you would have known this, right? This is a very famous uh, movie. Um, uh, okay, this is an action movie. The Raid Redemption in 2011. Genre. Of course, this is a loan word from Francais again, genre. But yeah, in, in Basenisha, we pronounce this as genre. Genre. Okay, genre. Aksi, aksi is action. Kejahatan is crime. Thriller is thriller, right? Sutradara is director, by the way. Director. Okay. The, the, the sutradaranya adalah Garrett Evans. Okay, the synopsis, obviously synopsis is a loan word from Bahasa Inggris, uh, from English, right? Dikenal karena adegan seni bela diri yang intens dan terkoordinasi dengan baik. Film ini mengikuti tim SWAT yang terjebak di sebuah gedung apartemen di Jakarta saat mencoba menangkap seorang penguasa kejahatan. Okay, I also provide you with the English synopsis, the translation of the Bahasa version to help you better. But if you have no idea how to construct Bahasa Indonesia and if this is the first video that you will watch from this channel, please make sure to subscribe and join our complete Bahasa course if you really want to enjoy watching Bahasa Indonesia movies. We have level 1 available for free on YouTube and Spotify. And if you want to continue learning, you can email me at, at xpesbali at gmail.com to join thousands of people who have uh, really boosted their fluency and mastery of Bahasa Indonesia. So again, this is a very good movie to enjoy. Okay, the acting, the acting are good. Okay, and again, um, you can also improve your Bahasa Indonesia at the same time. Number two, what I would recommend is this, a copy of my mind, 2015. A drama and thriller, a sutradaranya Pak Joko Anwar, Mr. Joko Anwar, and synopsisnya, Disutradarai oleh Joko Anwar, film ini mengeksplorasi isu sosial politik dan perjuangan pribadi se perjuangan pribadi di Jakarta melalui kisah seorang pekerja salon dan seorang fotografer lepas. Okay, so yeah, you can read the translation if you need it. Okay, and I am not a, not a city boy. I'm from Bali, so I can understand the struggle. When you are alone in a big city like Jakarta and you need to make a living there, yeah. So this 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 movie is good. So yeah, Joko Anwar, by the way, is a very famous director from Indonesia. So you want to give this a try while again improving your Bahasa Indonesia, right? Next we have Rumah Dara. This is horror. If you like horror, horror is horror. The same thing in Bahasa Indonesia. You just remove the R. In English, I believe we have double R, right? Uh, in Bahasa, we only have one R. Okay, so yeah, Rumah Dara. Thriller sutradanya adalah The Mo Brothers, juga dikenal sebagai Macabre. Film horor Indonesia ini 
yang disutradari oleh The Moe Brothers mengikuti sekelompok teman yang mencari perlindungan di sebuah rumah misterius yang dimiliki oleh keluarga yang jahat. Oke, okay, wow, that sounds scary already. So, if you are into this genre, then you probably want to give it a try. Okay, uh, sounds scary already from the synops- synopsis. I haven't watched this, but a lot of people have um of uh, uh have recommended this so that's why I included this in 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 the list uh, but yeah to tell you the truth I'm not into horror <laughs> okay uh, I can watch but I just don't enjoy it okay I mean for me at least I want to have fun <laughs> okay when watching movies not to be scared like I am scared now already with real life <laughs> right again I want to have fun when watching movies So yeah, but if you are into horror, that's great. And this is something that you can watch while also improving your Bahasa Indonesia. Right? What would be better than being scary and learning a new language, right? <laughs> okay, last but not least, number four, we have Laskar Pelangi. This is drama. This is my f- one of my favorites. A lot of lessons that you can learn from this uh, about kids. Okay, Laskar Pelangi. Laskar Pelangi, Pelangi means rainbow, by the way, Laskar is like armies, so it's like armies of rainbows, or rainbow troops, I believe. But yeah, the the, the genre is drama, sutradaranya Pak Riri Riza. Sinopsis berdasarkan novel populer, karya Andrea Hirata. Andrea Hirata is also, I believe, a famous writer in Indonesia. Film ini menceritakan kisah inspiratif sekelompok siswa, miskin, Dan guru mereka di Pulau Fiksi Belitung. Okay, so you can read the synopsis there. So there you go. Okay, you can uh, have fun while improving your Bahasa Indonesia. That's the best thing that you can have, the best combo. Uh, if you like this type of uh, content, if you like this, let me know. I can create a thousand things like this, like the best uh, series perhaps, right? The best books. Okay, so if you like this, comments below. Um, I hope you also learn a thing or two. Okay, while also listening me reading the synopsis, you can practice there a bit. But most importantly, I want you to have alternative ways to learn Bahasa Indonesia while having fun. So yeah, terima kasih. If you want to learn more step by step, methodologically, you can join our complete Bahasa course. You can visit us at bahasalittleproject.com to learn more or email me at expressbali@gmail.com. Terima kasih dan sampai jumpa.